Hello everybody, I am Zen and I am back with another Meepo video. This time it is a new event called the Night Trope. And um, if you are just like me, you didn't read through how to play this new event, this video is definitely for you. So basically, you will need to get your tickets to the uh, event. You can choose either the first one, which is uh, which gives you more experience point, or you can choose the so-called attack the cannon ticket, which I did just out of curiosity, which gives you drops. So basically, the drops that you can get every time you fire the cannon would be things like this arcane river or enhancement scrolls and all of this where you can like exchange stuff okay so the next thing you need to do after selecting your ticket because it will entitle you to get dream coins you i would recommend you to start this thing where you can hunt 2000 monsters and after hunting 2,000 monsters, you will receive uh, all these different gifts. And for this part where you need to get your dream coins, you need uh, 300 dream coins to max out the daily thing before you are qualified to start the icebreaker, icebreaker mini game. So you need 300 dream coins. You will get one dream coin per 10 monsters that you hunt so in total you need to hunt 3000 dream coins which is why i recommend to uh, start this 2000 monsters thing so you can complete it more or less at the same time then as you get more dream coins you will level up your designer level so I'm currently at Junior, which took me quite, I think it took me 5 days. Yeah, because I didn't max out 300 coins daily, because I didn't really have time to play this game. Yeah, so you can use your coins to kind of like buy uh, all these boosts. There are different boosts and it is only available at different levels. So you just have to keep leveling up if you want to unlock every single thing. So I think it's pretty simple. I can show you guys how it is like to uh, hunt monsters. So as you can see, killing the monsters every mo every like ten monsters that you kill. I've killed ten monsters, it increased by one coin. So yeah, I will continue to finish up 300 coins and then I'll show you guys what the icebreaker game is. Okay, so um as you guys know, I have selected the cannon ticket. So whenever I kill the monsters, they will randomly drop this gunpowder, which will constitute to 10% every time you collect the monsters. Uh, sorry, every time you collect the gunpowder. And after collecting 10, you will earn a chance to fire the cannon, which you can fire by going to your... Uh, level 1 skills and go to this cannon stage thing and uh, depending on the level you are at you can fire better drops so this is what it looks like when you fire the cannon you can collect all these things which will randomly open up things for you to collect Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so this is the list of items that you can collect from the uh, cannon ticket. So all these things you can collect and you will be able to collect more each time you level up your designer level. And then if you choose the other one, which is the experience point ticket, the right side attraction ticket, you will get a more experience point each time you activate the skill. So yeah, this event seems more of a giving you lots of experience point kind of thing. So if you're interested in it, do lay it out. As compared to the Starbridge event, I think it's a little bit more engaging in a way where they have all these like mini games for you to play with. But um, maybe it's just because the event is still quite new. So all these things like the Wheel of Fortune thing, the Barbara sponsorship, the bumper car, and this iceberg diving thing is not available yet as of me making this video. But if I'm not wrong, uh, this bumper car thing is only available to those that are level 100 and below. And this iceberg thing is something like um, if you AFK, you will earn coins. And then this Barbara sponsorship thing is if you donate your maple points, you would earn more dream coins. And this Wheel of Fortune thing is kind of like you just try a lot. If you get the kind of like a jackpot thing, you can get more dream coins. And you can only spin it three times. So the yeah, so each time you fail the spin, you will still get fifty dream coins anyway. Okay, so I have collected three hundred coins, and then I can now unlock this uh, iceberg breaking game. This game can only be entered solo, so uh, you can't be in a party in order to enter this event. You can only enter it once. I mean, you can enter it multiple times, but you can only earn the coin like once. Like your highest score would be the highest point, the highest number of coins you can earn for this thing. So you can earn a total of 150 coins, provided if you manage to break all the icebergs. So I would actually recommend you to do all like your power-ups so that you can clear the iceberg as fast as possible. And then maybe spam your skills towards the end where it starts to get a little bit difficult. Like from stage 5 onwards to stage 7 is kind of tough for me because my damage is not that good. So this is where I start saving my power-ups to make sure that I can get the most points as possible. So far the highest score that I've been to is 69 coins. That's pretty much my maximum output at the moment. not going to stitch it yet so I will just keep trying until I can manage to make clear 150 coins but I think it will probably take quite a while because after all I'm just a priest my damage is not so good but who knows maybe I can actually do it I think I am improving, although I don't think I've ever leveled up. At most, I enhance my weapons a little bit, but then 
69 coins. 8 seconds, 7 seconds. I don't think I can do much now. Yep, 69 coins is my maximum so far. I hope I can reach the next level soon. So yeah, that's all to this event for now. I will let you guys know if there's any update that you guys can uh, look out for. So yeah, that's, that's all to this event. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.